Good morning, my friend. Today, I'd like to share with you one of my secrets for really getting on well with people, for resolving conflicts, and for avoiding conflicts. And that is to be really deeply and truly concerned for the other person and their feelings and their perceptions and their experience. To be really interested in them as a person. Interested in how they're feeling, interested in how they're getting through life, interested in what they're interested in. Just be basically generally interested in them. To connect with them with interest rather than just have them some little thing in your life that might be a thorn or a problem or an issue. So you become personalized with them. And another one is to, to empathize with them, to, to care, be interested and to empathize with them. Imagine what it's like to be them. Put yourself in their shoes. Um, just think about them for a minute because usually we're always thinking about ourselves. The ego is always totally obsessed with its own little experience, its own life, its own wants, what it wants and what it doesn't want from people. So just care, just focus on caring for another person. Like be really interested and care for them. Um, be excited for what they're interested in maybe. Be excited for them and what they're liking and happy about in life. And likewise, be, be sad or upset if they're sad or upset. Like have this like sensitive compassion in your heart. How do you get compassion or how do you care more for people? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> you, well, you do what I'm saying basically. You imagine what's it like to be them like? What type of a life have they have? did they have? Like, what type of a day have, have they had? Really, it's really all, everything in life almost is about asking questions. Because without a, good, without a question, you won't get a good answer. Not typically. Ask yourself questions. Like in other, in other topics too, like where am I? And that, if you ask yourself where am I, that brings you centre to where your body is now and where you are in the now present moment experience. So then you get to see what's here rather than to be daydreamy. It's okay to be daydreamy, but it's also nice to be present and, and appreciate the silence and the present moment um, stuff, what you're seeing. If you're out for a walk or if you're in a room. It's nice just to see and appreciate the beauty, what's here. Because if you don't see the beauty, you can't appreciate it. So you can only see it by being here. And a great little question is, where am I? Am I aware of the silence? Can I hear the silence? Can I see the beautiful stuff? And when you say, can I see the beautiful stuff, then you can then you do see the beautiful stuff and then you feel happy and joyful and you can express gratitude, thanksgiving and celebration. Alright, so this, this applies to the same with people. Can I see the beautiful stuff in this person? Can I remember the beautiful things they do? And all of this is not about avoiding um, the issue. It's about approaching the issue, the, the problem, so to speak, from a different perspective from a different heart, especially. A caring heart, a sensitive heart, a loving heart, a compassionate heart. So it means if you have a challenge or a situation with somebody, or in life, a situation, problems arose, someone's been moody, or whatever, something unexpected maybe, now you can, uh, you can approach it from a totally different perspective and you way of feeling too. When you get to feel compassion and care for somebody and interest in somebody's well-being that brings inner peace oh my god it brings like a lot of inner peace you're no longer in a fight or an argument anymore but you're like caring for somebody it's like you're now in somebody who cares and it's not about being right or fighting with somebody but you can now express your opinions and you can express what you want and you can express boundaries but from a totally different uh, way of expressing and body language and the way you speak. You're not talking down on the person. You're not angry at the person. But you're with the person. They're no longer an enemy, but they're more like a friend who you love and care for. And you appreciate. And you can even express your appreciation. And if you pay somebody a compliment, a genuine compliment, who you're having like a bit of a, a sensitive um, situation with, that's like very, very, very good for resolving, helping to resolve situations at work, for example, or anywhere anyone in your family you say like hey I love the way I know we're not getting on the best maybe lately or something like that 
but just want to say like I really appreciate the way you like clean clean the place like you did a great job like and I love the way you like think about other people like I noticed that you thought about this person or thanks for thinking about me for doing this little thing or hey I like your I like your hat I like your your top today it's really nice or you did a really good job with this so this really br br helps to connect people too and to, to melt the, uh, the animosity and the tension So that's lovely. So I just thought I'd share this with you um, to help you, hopefully, to help melt a hardened heart and to help unveil a sensitive heart and far, 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 far better relationships. Uh, so really, again, it's all about understanding people too. And you do that by empathizing with their position and their life and realizing that they're having a now moment experience right now, same way as you, even if they may be in a different room or a different place, they're having a now moment experience and this is their life and it all, for them it revolves around them and where their body is. This is where their awareness is, where their body is. This is where they see from and hear and experience their now moment life. So they've had this now moment experience throughout all of their life and they've had hurts and problems and issues and challenges and loneliness and letdowns and so much hurts and pains, you know. So. When we just think about this and realize, hey, hmm, this kind of makes sense actually the way they're behaving. It's because of all of their past now moment life experiences. But all of the different people, many, 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 many people, their family, all the people in their family and their society and their school, they've been eroded at and molded and shaped. So just remember the same way you've had your life and it sculpted you in so many ways, so too have they. So now we can understand this and not say that they shouldn't be doing this or they shouldn't be like this or that they should be doing this or they should be like this. Just realize they're doing exactly what they're supposed to or meant to be doing based on all of their accumulated experiences. And now with this we can have more compassion and understanding and just say, instead of saying they shouldn't be like this, you could say, well maybe they can be like this. So what am I going to do now to try and create this? So you become empowered rather than a complainer who's and a judger who's saying people should be different etc and that life should be different just because you want it to be but now you can say okay love this person i care for them i'm interested in them i realize it's been tough for them the same way as it has been for all the other human beings i realize it's been tough now what can i do how can i help what can i do obviously not going to be a walkover but i put up the boundaries and and then um, fix the situation with sensitivity like i mentioned before so without fighting, but from being more of a, a feeling inner peace and, and compassion. And it's far more effective and quick at fixing a situation, but also much better for connecting people. So that's it. Lovely. Understanding, compassion, caring, being interested, imagining what it's like to be the other person, accepting their current state of mood and emotions, being easy on them, being easy on yourself. Uh, just know that everything is the way it should be, but now is a new moment to create a different reality. So that's where the power is and that's where the beauty is also. And love people and say thank you and give them presents and offer a hug. Reach out, don't be afraid or shy and just connect and love it. And this is like my favorite hobby in life, just to call it a hobby. <laughs> it's people, I love, I thoroughly enjoy people having fun and laughs and joking and saying hi and blah blah blah, this that, and the other. But uh, at the same time, because I don't, like no one ever pick, no one ever picks on me really anymore. It's like that's over with for me for some reason. Maybe it's just because I've learned that lesson in, in, in for the most part. Not the not the people aren't going to be mean to me in the future, but when they will be, and when they are, which is extremely extremely rare, almost never, I can have I can remember what I'm saying to you now and just practice what I'm saying, and you know just <laughs> not to take it personally. It's not all about you. It's about them and their mood and their feelings and their emotions and their hard day. So if someone complains or criticizes you or gives out to you or snaps at you, you don't have to think like ego. Oh, it's all about me. I have such a big problem. Like, what's wrong with me? Like, why, why am I? But you can say, ah, okay, they're hurt and they're suffering and they've had a bad day and a hard life. Okay, it's about them. And now you can say, okay, I don't have to feel all like believing what they say. I can just realize, I can take what they say with a pinch of salt. 
and I can move on with a smile and I can smile at them and say like, hey, I love you, but I know you're just having a tough day or whatever. What can I do to help you? But you don't have to say that in a condescending, like really casual way, the way I just said it there. True way, sensitive way. Feel the sadness and the hurt. Feel it, connect with them emotionally. So thanks for watching and wish you a great day and great relationships. And please feel welcome to subscribe and to share the video because other people might be helped with this on Facebook or whatever social network you want. And leave any of your thoughts or comments or insights or kind words. Nice to have your company and until the next time, see ya. Bye. See ya.